a bit of bad news, perhaps, yes. but we are st staying in the Star Wars galaxy. It is a uh, Cassian Andor on Disney Plus has hit a snag, and here is why, according to Digital Spy. Um, it's basically scheduling, John. Um, it just seems to be one thing after another, doesn't it, at the moment, you know, with uh, Lucasfilm? Certainly, uh, you know, the Disney Plus thing, because we've already uh, established that there was a little bit of a hiccup with the Obi Wan series. It looks like we're not getting the six episodes we were promised. Um, where were we promised? I don't know. Maybe that was just. Yeah, I think it was assumption. originally a feature length movie, and then they just yeah. sort of subcompartmentalised different things, you know, and, and that into yeah. a TV show. And it looks like it's going to be four episodes now, Crap. which is. Uh, well, if the episodes are an hour and a half long, yeah, then yeah, for I'll, I'll take that, you know, but I doubt it very much. I think it's going to be maybe 50 to 60 minutes. I don't think we're going to get any more than that. Um, but what's your thoughts on this, John? It's, it's a very straightforward article. It seems yeah. to be scheduling, but it seems to be Star Wars are taking the hit once again for scheduling. Yeah, it seems. I think it's all, again, stemming down to the scripts as well. I think it's just pure <laughs> penmanship from yeah. the script writers. We had Hugh McGregor come out and speak about the Obi-Wan delay and say... But he really enjoyed the scripts, he read them, he was happy with the contents. Kathleen Kennedy apparently in the background has come out and says, or maybe says in the background and it was reported, I don't think she's ever come out officially and said it, that they weren't happy with the script, the story within, and that they wanted to go away and maybe readdress and rewrite certain things. And that then gave us a delay of nearly, I think, a year. I think we were already starting pre-production. There was people on location and I think they were sent away. Now it's not till next year, early next year, I believe the Obi Wan stuff. This one has already been delayed to it was supposed to be starting, I think, middle of the year, last year, beginning of the year, I think, Cassie and Andor. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, then the it was last delayed to month or two, yeah. Yeah, it was and, then it was, to be on yeah and then it was supposed to be delayed to the middle of this year, and now it's been delayed again for script issues and scheduling issues and whatnot. Again, it just speaks volumes about Kathleen Kennedy's tenureship as president of Lucasfilm, an absolute shambles from start to finish. All over the place. They don't know what they're doing. They're just useless, really, in terms of bringing in directors, not fitting the style they want. And then they're sacking them because it doesn't fit the style they want. Even though they have obviously did the what is the, the term for that when you actually it's like due diligence. Yeah. You bring them in, see maybe feel out what they're wanting to do with the story, and then you say right, well, hi, this is what we want. Well, they've did that, and then there's clashes. Yeah. Three weeks from the production ending. And then we have all these issues with scripts and whatnot, and just we had issues on Rogue One with scripts yeah. and endings, and they had to get Tony Gilroy in, and now we're doing it again with this. It's just repeating itself again and again. This is like the bad side of Star Wars. George Lucas always used to speak about history being like poetry, it repeats itself well. This is bad poetry. Yeah. This I, isn't Alan Edgar yeah. Poe or whatever the hell. I think once again, John, it's, well, what it's is one Alan of Edgar these Poe? things that we're going to have to wait until we see the end product. You know, one of the things, and, and you mentioned them there, George Lucas was that. Um, having one person have too much control can be a bad thing, especially if they surround themselves with yes people. Uh, you end up with a really poor result, yeah. a very poor um, executed story. And that was the case. Let's not beat around the bush. The, the prequel trilogy was you know, poorly executed. Um, in this case, it's ironic that the, the only sort of you know, uh, instalment to the, the Disney Lucasfilm you know, production at the moment. The only one that's not had any issues with reshoots, rewrites, was The Last Jedi. There was no interference. Looked like everything was going, you know, smoothly. Obviously, the end result in that split the fan base, yeah. you know. Um, as, as in terms of a, the, the film itself, though, the quality of the, the film, the cinematography, the score and everything, it's up there with the best. Yeah. Um, Again, it's just having that one person having that you know one vision and one you know uh, overall control of the you know the franchise or, or that instalment of the franchise. But you're absolutely right, John. Um, it just seems to be one thing after another. Um, in this case, it's scheduling. Um, I don't get it. I really don't get it. You know, this is something that should have been um, sorted a long time ago. A long time ago, no, well, you're laughing, John, because I said sorted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, it was a long, long time uh, but ago. But it was, you know, far, far uh, you know, in a, a streaming service far, far away. Um, <laughs> this has all been, all, you know, we've known about Disney Plus for the last three years. We've known about the casting and or stuff for maybe about 18 months now. Obi-Wan for the last 18 months. They were announced roughly about the same time. Um, it just seems to me that they're chopping and changing, you know, too much. 
uh, in terms of scheduling. You know, I know that they've obviously got the Marvel stuff. This is a problem, putting all your eggs in one basket. You know, that they're releasing, I think it's three yeah. series. Is the Loki one coming out this year? I'm not sure. Yeah, um, maybe next year, I think yeah, we're so getting we've, WandaVision and So Captain. we've got two, you know. Yeah, we've obviously got the second season, The Mandalorian com coming in, Obi-Wan as well. So um, it just seems that they're not... Um, they might be spreading themselves a bit too thin here. You know, in terms of The Mandalorian, I get why they want to, you know, put out a second season as soon as possible on the back of the success of the first season. But surely they could have left it maybe a, a year from now to do The Mandalorian season two. You know, let fans wait, you know, anticipate, you know, that's what they do with the films, or they used to do with the films. You know, we had to wait three years for every instalment of the original, you know, six episodes of Star Wars, you know, and it... We managed, you know. If anything that you really got as excited for, you know, the the build up and the countdown for every release, they could have done that with the Mandalorian. Yep. That's just my opinion, though. I don't know how you feel about that, John. If it's something they that they could have maybe have delayed the Mandalorian, I don't know. You certainly could have, uh, but uh, again, you then got the issue of what comes next in terms of Star Wars content on Disney Plus. So I suppose they're caught between a rock and a hard place in that regard. But yeah. also the way that they're obviously having this consumed these TV shows as well with the non-binge fest weekly release they know themselves they have short form storytelling going on here 20 30 minute episodes and they then try to drag it out as long as possible to keep subscriber bases up and whatnot. but look I don't care I, I'll watch The Mandalorian season 2 when it comes I'm quite happy to consume Star Wars content Lord knows when we'll be getting anything else in terms of Diego Luna's Cassian Andor stuff and also yeah. Hugh McGregor finally coming back as Obi-Wan yeah, and then maybe be. even that horrible Darth Vader time travel rumoured TV show which I hope we don't get because there's some Star Wars yeah. content that even I won't watch yeah and talking about uh, right of, yeah talking about uh, time travelling John we're just going to move on to yes. our next article 